Okay, so now you're ready to make some changes to the pages and you are using the Divi framework. In this example, we'll take a look at the information that is presented on this website, uh, thanks to SBR Motorsports Park. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to edit this cart rentals page. And we're going to take a look and see what all the different pieces are that put this page together. So the first thing you want to do is to head to the back, go to your pages section of the website, find cart rentals, and click edit. And from here, you'll see the Divi is laid out into each individual block. So in the case of this particular page, you have the main full-size header sli and slider up here. Then you have this block of text in here. And then you have the cart rental pricing. And then you have this little um, disclaimer down here at the bottom. So the first thing we're going to look at is where is this information? In Divi, that information is usually going to be somewhere in the full width slider. When ILGM builds blocks for you, we try to name each one of the blocks and the modules that corresponds to the page to that part of the page. And in this case, this is the full width slider. So we're going to go ahead and click the three little lines. It's called the hamburger button. We're going to go ahead and click on that and open that up. And this is going to give us where that slider is. In this case, there's only one slide for this particular page and you click again on the hamburger button and this will open it up and now this is where the heading title is that's going to be that's going to be denoted right here and then down towards the bottom this is where the base copy is and that's going to be what's inside here also in this page as you scroll we scroll back down here's the background image right here we have it set to use an overlay, so we're using a transparent overlay to darken it up so that it, it uh, the white text will come through. And this Vimeo video right here is where it says slide video. You can also put an alternate image in there if you want to use an image instead of a video. So in short, if we wanted to change the text, this is the title here. This is the base. If we wanted to upgrade the video to a different video, we would just put the URL in here. Once we made the change, we would hit save and save to exit. And you have to remember that you always have to hit update to finalize your changes. So now we'll scroll, scroll down to here where this block of text is. So that's going to be this next section right here. And sometimes you may see these sections collapse it'll look like this and if they're if there's a lot of sections we'll collapse them and we'll try to name the section for you but you just click the double down arrows and that'll expand it so when you're looking at when you're looking at this page what you have is the track owner and driver section which is right here and then to the right you have the best carts which is this block of text up here and then you have the two, these two right here, sections for these two kid cards. And what makes this pretty nice is that if you wanted to do something as simple as swap these two around, you would just come over to this section here. When you get the four-way arrows, you would just drag and drop it on the right. Take the one that was on the right, drag and drop it on the left. Hit update. As soon as your page is finished updating, we'll come over here and reload, and you'll see that these two sections have swap sides. It's just that simple. So let's go ahead and put this back for right now. We'll swap this right over here and save it. Now let's say that we want to edit what's in the Kid Cadet Cart section. Again, the same as we did before. You click on the little hamburger button, and everything that you need is going to come up here. The text color is dark because it's on a white background. Here's all the text that you want to work with. And this is in a text visual, so we're going to switch over to the visual mode. So that way you can have your WYSIWYG editor and see what's going on. But there's your text. Pretty simple. If you want to make some changes without it going live on the site, let's say that we wanted to change, change this 
from as young as five to as young as eight, but we don't want it to, we want to see it first. Then we can click the eye icon right down here. This will give us a visual of what it looks like. There it is. The, there's the update there. If we like it, then we just hit save and exit and then update. And then reload. And it's going to swap these two back around and change five from five to eight. So let's go ahead and go back and fix that again. Put it back to what this client wants on their website. Hit save. Now let's come down here and look at some other stuff. So we have it all broken out. Here's the gray section here. So here's your pricing header and the text that's underneath it. And then these are just basic blocks that go underneath here that build these individual pricing pieces. It's pretty simple. If we wanted to change the kid cart from $35 to $40, we would come down here. We would click on the hamburger button for the price. We would change it from 35 to 40 and that's and hit save and we would be done. It's really that simple. Go ahead and save that. Now let's build a page and take a look at some more useful tools inside of Divi. So we're going to come over here, we're going to add a new page. We're going to call this test page. In a lot of cases, if we are using the same format and continuity for each page throughout the site, we're going to build you a module that you can just import. So we'll click on to use the Divi. We're going to go ahead and click on add from library because what we need is we need to have this default header. So we've saved it for this client as it's called page header. So that's going to bring it in. So we'll go ahead and delete this default one that's up there. Let's go ahead and change this to a new slide. We'll leave the background the same so that there's continuity. We'll just paste in some generic text, some Latin text. A lot of you probably have seen that before. We'll go ahead and hit save. Oh, we got a, let's capitalize that. And we'll go ahead and publish this so we can take a look at it as we're doing this demo. So I'll go ahead and grab this link location to this new page because it's not really live on the site. So there we go. We have the default video, we have a test slide, and we have some verbiage. So let's go ahead and change the video. So we'll click on the hamburger button. We'll click on the hamburger button of the slide. We'll scroll down to the video link and we'll paste in the new link to the video. And this can be YouTube or Vimeo, it doesn't matter. So we'll go ahead and hit save. Go ahead and save and we'll update again just to take a look at our changes. Okay, now we have a new video in there, so we're good to go. Now we need to put some text underneath here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a standard section and it's gonna ask you how you want this to be laid out. For this example, we're gonna do an image on the left and text on the right. So we're going to click one third, two third, and then we're going to put an insert an image module here. So we'll come up and find the image module. We'll click on image and then we can upload or pick from the media library. We'll just go ahead and pick one from the media library for right now. How does that one look? Yeah, that one looks pretty good. So we'll save that as an image and we don't need to do anything else here. So we'll hit save. So we have our image in there. Now we'll put regular text in here. So we'll come down and we'll hit text. 
and we'll put in some generic Latin text and we'll hit save and if you want to preview it again you can click the eye icon and it will let you preview it there it is so we'll hit save and we'll hit update and we'll be able to see that on the website so we'll reload there's our image with our Latin text but you know what let's change this from just plain text to a call to action with a button so we're gonna come over here we're gonna go ahead and delete this item we're gonna insert a new module and we're gonna call this one a call to action so here's the title so we're gonna we're gonna call this get out and race the, and we're going to give the button a URL and that can be any URL that you wanted to you can open in the same window or a new window this is the this is the text that's going to be on the button call it sign up today text is going to be light because it's a it's a semi dark color. We'll look at that in a minute. Now we'll add in our copy again. We'll take a preview. Okay, so that's what we have. I think that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it on the live site. And let's hit update. So there's our image and our call to action with our button that takes us to another web page when you click on it. So that's pretty easy and pretty simple. We'll head back. Now let's say that we want to duplicate that so that we have another block underneath here, but we want to swap the image with this with the other side. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click duplicate right here. So that's going to duplicate everything here. We're going to come in and we're going to change the layout. Instead of one third, two thirds, we're going to do two thirds, one third. Then we're going to swap these sides on these here. And we're going to hit update. And let's go back and reload. So there we go. One side, the other side. So one thing we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll change the image. So we'll click the hamburger button. We'll climb up in here. We'll find another image to use. Um, let's use these kids. Call that one good. Save that image. Hit save and exit. The other thing is, let's change the background of this section to a different color. So we'll go ahead and hit on the section at a part. We'll click the hamburger buttons. There's a background color. We'll set it to a nice gray. Hit save. And we'll hit update. Come back over here. Reload to see our settings. So now we have a gray background. We have new images that are all working in here. So let's go ahead and put, let's put a header, uh, heading text here, and then we'll put some disclaimer text down here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new section. So let's call it a standard section. We're gonna make it full width. So we're gonna add a text module. So we'll come down here, click text. And we'll just give it a title. This is our test page. We'll go ahead and change it to heading one and hit save. But it's down here. We need it up here. So we're going to look for our four er uh, section arrow. We're going to drag this up to the top and we're going to drop it. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to add another standard section, full text. 
go ahead and give it and hit save and exit and hit update. Now these don't have the gray background so this gray should stand out a little better on here. So there's our top title, there's our two call to actions, and then there's our text down there. But let's say we want to split this in half. Again, this stuff is too easy. Come over here, you select the layout, we split it in half, there's part of that text. We'll make this a little shorter, so we'll come in here, take this out, and we'll put it in on this side. So we'll come over here, grab a text module, paste it in, hit save, and hit update. So now it's split into two. That's pretty much all there is that you need to know for the basics of Divi and editing your pages.